I am joined with living legend, Adam Kubert. Yeah, living legend. Welcome. <laughs> Let me check my pulse. Yes, I'm, yes. I'm doing well, thanks. You're doing great. I'm doing um, great yeah. I mean, you're here, and, and I'm here with you, so yeah, yeah. I know I'm in the right place. <laughs> I think I am, too. Excellent. <laughs> Um, well, if someone is, is not familiar, first, shame on you, not familiar people. Um, <laughs> but uh, can you tell us about your start with Marvel? Oh, my start with Marvel was back in 92, I think. Uh, I actually started drawing with uh, through Bobby Chase's office. Spirits of Vengeance, number one, was my first job. Wow. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, w what a great first job. Yeah, yeah. And the interesting thing was... Uh, I signed an exclusive contract in 94, and I'm still under it. Wow. Yeah. Incredible. Except for a three-year stint someplace else. I understand. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, thank you for not mentioning yeah. it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I think a lot of people know you uh, for work with Wolverine. Yeah. But what are you working on currently? Uh, I'm currently working on, and I think they just announced it today somewhere, or at least I hope, um, Dark Web Dusk number one, which is a, a bookend, uh, a, the, the first part of a bookend event. There's Dark Web Dusk and Dark Web Dawn. So Dark Web Dusk is a 30-page uh, uh, issue that kicks off the Dark Web event. Dark Web Dusk, or <laughs> I'm getting, yeah, you know, Dawn, Dawn sure. Dusk, you know, I don't yeah, even, which is first, Doug, you know, it, yeah. the, the chicken or the egg. But um, so the, the second part of the event is Dark Web Dawn. Dawn. Because it's like overnight. Yeah. It's overnight. It's Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm here to help you. If you need any more mnemonic Thank you, devices. Justin. Yeah. <laughs> Catch me if I fall. Thanks. Anytime. Um, <laughs> so I think a lot of fans uh, know you for your like super iconic covers and, uh, you know, your your specific style. Has your style evolved for this new project or is it? I mean, I feel like we're always constantly evolving. Yeah, yeah. I, I think, you know, as an artist, you want to constantly do better, you know, and, and, and try harder. That's what I do. That, and that's really how your, your, uh, you know, your style evolves. Yes, it, uh, with this particular project, I am trying something new because that's what, the, uh, that's what I get enjoyment out of. I'm trying something new. I'm using gray tones, telling the story a little bit differently than Wolverine. Wolverine is a very dark book. This is also dark, but in a, in a different way, and I'm trying, you know, trying some different things. I love that. Yeah. Uh, what is your creative process like? And, and I love the minutia, right? Like, for me, the house has to be clean, and uh, I have to be highly caffeinated, and then maybe, you know, the creative engine will yeah, yeah. start. For you? Well, for me, I start with the script. I, I thumbnail everything out. I work on about 10 pages at once. So I go through, thumbnail them all, then I go through and I rough them all out, then I go through and pencil them all out, then I go through and ink them all. Because every time I look at a page, if I, especially if I haven't seen it in a while, um, I'll see the mistakes quicker, mm. you know, when I come back to it. Fresh it, it eyes. Like, yeah, I look at it with a fresh eye. So that's, that's pretty much my process. Wow, incredible. And, I mean, do you need caffeine or anything, or is it just like... Oh, we all need caffeine. Okay, got it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Caffeine is the first thing I have when I wake up. <laughs> oh, man, that's so special. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> So I know that, that comics are kind of like a familial trade for you. Um, can you talk about that? I mean, having like kind of this like dynasty of, of comic blood, um, how did that happen? And, and what I is it like? I was born into it. <laughs> right. Well, I like, want to know what your group chat looks yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. You, you know, is it just like, hey, check out this line, bro? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, with, with my brother, I mean, we go back and forth growing up. You know, I'd show him my stuff. He'd, but there was a, a healthy form of competition. You know, with my dad, he was the grand poobah, you know. Yeah. I, would, I could come to him with anything, you know, whether it's artistic or personal. And we discuss it. We just had a, I had a really great relationship with my dad. Um, so, I, you know, and I also just have to mention um, John Romita Jr. We have something in common with him, you know, you know, same kind of, you know, we're going to be doing something uh, maybe at New York Comic Con where uh, I draw a sketch, he draws a sketch, and our fathers both did that same kind of thing. It was for Hero Initiative where they did a drawing on the same piece of paper. And I was just talking to John at the convention today. He's behind it, and, I, and it hasn't happened yet, but... We're looking to do it. I, I can't wait for that. Yeah. Maybe I'll see you in New York. Yeah, it would be a lot of fun. We'll get a nice slice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so lastly, my final question. Okay. 
you know, you've, you've delighted the masses, you know, from wherever you do your work. But now you're out here in the wild, San Diego Comic-Con. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's it like connecting with fans that, you know, maybe never thought they would ever get to meet the creator of such wonderful images? You know, I love meeting the fans. I love the interaction. I love that, that uh, you know, they love the same thing that, that I love to do. And, and I'll chat with them, you know, all day long. So I'm, I'm the type of person that I love getting out and I love getting into, you know, into the thick of it with them and just going back and forth. You know, I'm as excited excited to meet them as they are to meet me, believe it or not. Wow. You know, so, man, um, I enjoy it. it. It's hard to believe that such, uh, such wild images can come from a person that's so down to earth. I don't know. Well, it <laughs> no, means a lot. No to comment. Us. <laughs> no, I appreciate, the, I appreciate that, but, you know. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for being here. Yeah, um, Justin. Yeah, I you. really appreciate it. Splendid meeting you. It was great chatting with you. I hope to see you on the, uh, on the floor with some of those adoring fans. Same here.